Hello, my dear creatives. Let's talk about architect scale ruler. In this short video, I'll be talking about architect scale ruler in inches uh, because right now I'm recording a lesson one uh, in inches for those who are using metric system. So basically, I'm using both rulers, metric system and imperial system. So Architect scale ruler, it's basically an essential tool for interior designers, architects, engineers uh, used to ensure accurate measurements and scale drawings. And for interior sketching, uh, there, are, uh, most, there are a couple of uh, most important scales. So one quarter, this is the scale that I'm going to show you in lesson one of my base course, also very popular, one eighth and one and a half. So you can see that there is color coding on this ruler. So basically our color for interior sketching is green and for interior design it's most popular. And of course, since this ruler is used not only by interior designers, but only architect, but also architects, engineers, there are various scales depending on the scale that we need. So there are, first of all, multiple scales printed on this ruler. Each scale is used for a different type of drawing or level of detail. For example, uh, I'm showing you one quarter, right? But for example, one and a half is uh, quite often used for smaller spaces, for like bathrooms, if we need to draw um, more precise drawing with higher level of details, we would use one and a half. So it's always important to determine the scale of your drawing, um, whether it's a flow plan that needs to be um, one quarter, for example, I've prepared for you also to demonstrate that a very basic layout plan. Uh, you can measure with your scale ruler uh, these kind of plans and of course they are usually uh, printed right so we usually work in AutoCAD or ARCHICAD uh, for drawings but I decided to make a very quick layout just to demonstrate for this video so we want to place the ruler on the drawing with the zero mark let me take a pencil uh, with the zero mark aligned with the starting point of measurement. So let's measure from this corner to this corner, right? So uh, I, I know that might seem unusual that uh, our ruler is upside down, but that's pretty normal and you'll quickly got used to it. So from zero to this corner, it gives us 12 inches. So in this case, it's 12 feet. If it would be, for example, a little bit bigger, right? So we could also measure the inches, right? So we could be very, very precise with these inches because in this uh, one quarter scale, these are uh, 12 inches. And that way, if our layout would be a bit bigger, that would give us uh, 12 feet and uh, 8 inches, for example. Uh, so read the measurements where the end point of the element meets the scale of the ruler. And uh, it's uh, also very useful when we are drawing to scale and create uh, creating a scale drawing. Um, this ensures that the drawing is an accurate representation of actual dimension. So basically, this kind of ruler is professional standard and using a scale ruler, it's yeah, professional standard in architecture and interior design and helps us to create drawings that can be universally understood and used. And always um, double checking your measurement to avoid errors practicing using the scale ruler and different scales to become comfortable with switching between them. And of course, by mastering the use of an architect scale ruler, you enhance the accuracy and professionalism of your interior sketches and designs, making it really an invaluable tool in your toolkit. 
so let me know was this video of help to you i decided to record this little super quick tutorial on these architects rulers do you feel like you understand uh, the concept of architects ruler a bit better so looking forward to your feedback